Hi everybody, my name is Daniela Malitesta and I'm a PhD student at Polytechnic University of Bari. I'm going to present the paper entitled Assessing Perceptual and Recommendation Mutation of Adversarially Poisoned Visual Recommenders. The other authors of this work are Vito Valtranelli, Tommaso Inoia and Felice Antonio Merra. So, this is a brief outline of what we're going to see. First of all, we will start from the motivation and the approach that we propose in our work. Then we will go through the experimental setting. We will draw some discussion on the obtained results. And finally, we will consider the conclusion and find some paths for future work. So let's get started. Recommended systems are the key core of any e-commerce platform since they provide online customers the list of most relevant products to buy which are based on previous interactions or similarities with other users on the same platforms, of course. In particular, visual-based recommended systems leverage on the idea that visual signals coming from product images could indeed uh, influence the final decision of users. For this reason, they exploit high-level visual features extracted from pre-trained convolutional neural networks. Unfortunately, deep neural networks have shown vulnerabilities towards adversarial attacks, which are specifically handcrafted perturbations, which are added to the input image, and they are able to misuse the classification performance of a traditional convolutional neural network. So, for example, a panda is classified as a gibbon. And the formulation for a targeted adversarial attack tries to maximize the uh, final loss function uh, finding the lowest possible perturbation delta, which is able to misclassify the input image as uh, a target category, for example, M in this case. Then there exist defensive techniques which are able to mitigate the effect of uh, adversarial attacks. In this case, the formulation tries to minimize the formulation seen before for the adversarial attack scenario. In this work, the motivating scenario involved the perturbation of low recommended category product images so that they could be misclassified as popular ones. The contributions were twofold. First of all, we studied the uh, efficacy on defensive techniques on recommendation. And secondly, we tried to give a visual evaluation by means of offline visual metrics that tried to mimic human judgment. So now let's go through the experimental setup. We went for two very popular datasets, which are Amazon Men and Amazon Women, and we set the origin and the target classes to be semantically and visually similar. So sandal and runny shoes for Amazon Men, and jersey t-shirt and brassiere for Amazon Women. Then we decided to adopt state-of-the-art attack and defensive techniques, which could embrace at the same time speed and effectiveness. On the one hand, we went for FGSM, PGD, and Kalinian Bogdan. On the other hand, we went for adversarial training and free adversarial training. In terms of visual based recommenders, we decided to adopt both non protected ones, so for example, BBPR, but also adversarially protected ones, in this case, AMR. So now let's consider the obtained results. For the recommendation performance, we decided to calculate the average number of target category items which were pushed into the top 10 recommendation list. In particular, we can see that for non-protected visual recommenders like BBPR, the defensive techniques are not protecting efficiently the recommendation performance. On the other hand, we can see that the joint usage of defensive techniques on the visual recommenders, and we are talking about AMR, and on deep neural networks is protecting the recommendation performance. Then we take into account the visual evaluation. We calculated the success rate on the applied attacks, the feature loss, which is the mean square error between the original and the attacked visual features, and the LPs, which gives an estimation on how humans would perceive the difference between a clean and a perturbed input image for example, by means of an adversarial attack. First of all, it is important to point out that the success rate is highly correlated to the feature loss. In fact, very successful attacks always correspond to high distances in the latent space. 
Then, for the non-defended scenarios, we see that PGD with epsilon equal to 4 is the best performing attack, since it provides the highest success rate, but it produces perturbations which are poorly perceived by humans. On the other hand, FGSM with epsilon equal to 8 is the worst performing attack. Now, let's consider defensive settings. In this case, very low values calculated for the LPIPs might trivially stand for very few successfully attacked input images. But these situations could be still exploited by adversaries because recommendation performance are still broken, as evident from the slide. Finally, it is interesting to notice that there exist situations like this one where the value of LPIPs is not lowered by the application of defensive techniques. And this could be due to the fact that the attack is producing stronger and stronger perturbations in order to contrast the defensive application, but then these perturbations are more noticeable by humans. Here we can see a visual example of how adversarial attacks are humanly imperceptible. Finally, we can draw some conclusions and provide directions for future work. This work was an empirical study to evaluate the efficacy of defensive techniques when they are applied to deep neural networks on the top of visual-based recommender systems. The obtained results show that adversarial training is not efficiently protecting visual-based recommender systems, and there exist defensive scenarios which could be exploited by attackers to be more and more effective. For the next steps, we are planning to study attack efficacy on accuracy and beyond accuracy metrics. We are going to propose novel end-to-end -end defensive techniques, and we are going to study online the impact of visual perturbations on users. Thank you very much for your attention, and for further information, you can contact us.